What's going on YouTube? Thanks for watching right here. I uh, just made this quick video just to show you a quick setup of my game developing kit. What I use to design my games and uh, most of the most of the few hardware components that I have onto my computer, my simple setup that I have just been developing games and stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. walk through my table where I'm working from and I hope you enjoy this and there's actually a game I'm actually creating right now and it's still in progress I hope you enjoy this hope you everyone's having a good day and right now I'm just working on something I'm just trying out this quick build box template to see what I can create. I'm here with my friend Paul. Paul, just say hi on my channel, man. Yeah, so like right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start working on a project <laughs> and this project is on a game that has to find its way past by something. Like the name of the game is Draw Your Way Out. So if you have any ideas on how I can manipulate this template in view box you can leave your comment below in the description and hope you're having a nice day yeah. all right so mainly what i use like to design like um, the the assets and everything and the characters that you see in most of my games that you play i use actually a bamboo webcom drawing tablet this is uh, the thing i actually use when um when i'm developing those games so you can get one uh, the, the, the link will be below will be below in the description and uh, if you if you wish to learn more more on where I got this then the other thing that I actually use when developing my games I use a phone you need your phone actually to try out your games that you're actually previewing either using unity or viewbox I myself I'm a full-time viewbox developer as you know that and uh, yeah, so that's much I use, and I also use uh, this LED key. You can see it from here. This is that my camera, so you see. Yeah, that cool keyboard. Yeah, I use it on the chart mostly most of my hardcore games, like yeah. like when I'm trying out, let's say, 3D type of world, big game. That's the one I use most of this thing. Yeah. Then other things that you can use, you can also use your personal computer. It it, it depends on what machine you are running. Let me just switch the camera so that you see most of the things that I do on this thing yeah so what you're seeing right now this is my machine I'm using right now to develop this game that you're seeing right there on the screen and what I've done is that I've connected my webcam to my my computer right there and uh, also the, 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 the keyboard is also connected to my my machine so that everything is there but for the phone what you're gonna need for that you will need uh, a USB Type C or any any recommended cable for your. D all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, game developers, I just tuned in right into my computer so that you can see exactly what I'm trying to explain. What I was actually talking about in this. Um, wait, is this taking me inside? Sorry about that. Yeah. So I was talking about. Uh, when you enter into your game project here when you are working on your game when you come to your export just take this out when you come to your your world and your export part here where it says ios and android so this is where you need your device now you understand why i mean that you need your phone in such projects when you are creating your your game so yeah so now let's let's go on with the video all right game developers you've seen my setup this is my mini setup next time you get to see my full computer saved up that one I used to design those 3d images that you've been saying and uh, that one is got a little bit hectic I use a bit of a bigger machine to help me render those big type of world games but if you are running on a Windows machine that has got good um, um, 
processor power and uh, graphic cards then you are set to develop amazing 3d programs then uh, if you are also into animation like cgi and 3d unity 3d you can also use a machine i i, I recommend core i5 and above with a 2. Point, uh, let's say 2.7 gigahertz if you want to run a smooth but if you want to be at the stable rate like developing those games like fortnite I recommend you get a Core i7 2.90 gigahertz for fast render scenes and anything like that. Yeah, thank you so much for taking your time to watch in this video. And before I say bye, just say hello to my friends. Then just show them the video. All right, so guys, want to say hi? Want to say hi to the channel? Hey, hey, hello, hello. hello.